In episode 15, Kevin Beats, the trauma expert of the Beats crew, finds himself in the midst of machinery mayhem. The episode unfolds with Kevin tirelessly adjusting the trommel roller rings, wielding a sledgehammer with determination and punctuating the air with colorful language. The Beats team also wrestles with the water pump, replacing its check valve in an attempt to salvage the situation. However, just as they prepare to set the trommel in motion, disaster strikes, the water pump belt slips off and burns up in a fiery spectacle. The frustration reaches a boiling point, leading to a heated exchange among the Beats boys, marked by beeping, belligerence, and backbiting. In a surprising twist, Kevin Beats decides that he's had enough and makes the unexpected choice to head back home. Even when Tony Beats extends an offer for Kevin to stay on his own claim, the disgruntled trommel expert firmly rejects the proposition. It seems the Beats crew is not immune to internal conflicts, and Kevin's departure leaves a void in the team dynamics. In contrast, another scene showcases a moment of camaraderie between Tony Beats and Parker Schnabel, revealing a stark contrast in the appreciation and recognition shown by the seasoned miner. Parker, the young and ambitious gold miner, gives Tony a tour of his recent Dominion Creek property, showcasing the impressive array of machinery he plans to put up for sale. Rather than seizing an opportunity to purchase equipment, Tony surprises everyone by praising Parker for his accomplishments. He expresses genuine pride in Parker's achievements, acknowledging the hard work and dedication that have propelled him to success. Parker, in turn, expresses gratitude, recognizing Tony's pivotal role in his journey. The stark contrast becomes apparent when considering Kevin Beat's desire for credit and praise. While Tony openly lauds Parker's work ethic and success, Kevin appears to be left wanting. Tony's remarks on Parker's desire being something you can't get at school reflect a deep appreciation for the qualities that make a successful miner. In the midst of this narrative, it becomes increasingly evident that Tony and Kevin are not on the same page. While Tony reserves his admiration for Parker, Kevin's expectations for acknowledgement go unmet. Tony's actions speak volumes about his priorities, leaving viewers to question whether Kevin's departure stems from a deeper rift in their working relationship. As the season unfolds, it remains to be seen whether the Beats boys can bridge the gap in communication and restore harmony to their mining endeavors. One thing is certain, the turbulent dynamics within the Beats crew add an extra layer of intrigue to the unfolding drama of Gold Rush Season 14. As the trommel dust settles and the echoes of beeping and bickering fade away, the departure of Kevin Beats leaves the Beats crew grappling with both technical challenges and internal strife. Meanwhile, Tony Beats' unexpected admiration for Parker Schnabel underscores a glaring contrast in the appreciation shown to team members. The mining landscape is as unpredictable as ever, with conflict simmering beneath the surface. As the season progresses, viewers are left to wonder if Kevin's absence will be a catalyst for change within the Beats crew and whether Tony's praise for Parker is a sign of shifting alliances. Gold Rush Season 14 continues to unveil the intricacies of the mining world, where success and recognition prove to be as elusive as the precious gold hidden within the rugged terrain.